July 21 to 01 5, Tuesday. This is a be kind to pets veterinary educational video for pet owners and vet students. What happened to this dog? A miniature schnauzer male, entire nine months old. The owner complained that this dog was passing blood in the urine, vomiting, and had lost appetite. Now you can see the blood. This is day three of the inpatient and the blood is still present in the urine. So I will ask a fourth year vet student from Macy University to give uh, this, uh, an account of this dog. What happened to, to the dog three days ago? Start now. Yeah. Three days ago on July 18, 2015, this miniature schnauzer, nine month old male entire, presented with a complaint of difficulty urinating and vomiting. We did a physical exam on this dog and bladder palpation showed that the bladder was as large as an orange. We decided to do a few laboratory diagnostic tests to find out the problem. The owner did not want to do an x-ray. Abdominal x-ray. Okay. The owner did not want to do an abdominal x-ray, so we did a urine test. The urine test showed that the urine color was brown and it had a turbid consistency. It had a pH of 7.0 and it had a specific gravity of 1.020, which showed that it's dilute. It was also positive for nitrite and it had high levels of protein and high levels of blood. We also did a blood test and it showed that his liver enzymes were high with the ALT three times above the normal range and the AST slightly higher than the normal range. His kidney profile also shows that his urea and creatinine levels were, high, were much higher than the, than the normal range indicating that he has renal failure. We did a hematology profile and it showed that he was suffering from septicemia as he has a high total white cell count, a high level of neutrophils and a low level of platelets. So we decided to treat him by passing a urinary catheter into his bladder. The urinary catheter was passed without difficulty and we lavaged his bladder for two days with normal saline solution. We found bladder stones and he also had bloody red tinge urine. Small, very small bladder stones were found, yeah. yeah. Not, not many, just... Not many uh, bladder stones were found. But after taking out the urine, yeah. Okay. A few and they were small in mm. diameter. Okay, then this urine sample this urine uh, sample was bloody and red. Taken aged. today. Yeah, it was taken today. Before the dog goes home. Before the dog goes home. And I'm about to do a dipstick test. I'm about to analyze the urine by doing a urine dipstick test. Before the dog goes home. Before the dog goes home. So. You can analyze the urine by comparing the dipstick results against the chart. So you can see that um, that this dog's urine has high amounts of blood. It's right. four Green. plus, mm. and it also has a slight. Uh, it also has um, high levels of protein. It has one plus, and it also has a pH of seven, and it has a specific gravity of one point zero two zero. How about leukocytes? It also has... Leukocytes? Um, it has is it negative or positive? Negative leukocytes. Mm, wait, which one? Okay, the, the third from the bottom. Yeah. Okay, how about pro, uh, ketones? Ketones were negative. negative. Nitrites? Nitrites were also negative. Okay. This is in contrast to the urine results from the 18th of July. Yeah. 
the, the urine results on the 18th of July uh, showed a much higher level of protein than the dipstick results today. It had 4 plus uh, protein urea as compared to 1 plus protein urea today. Of the treatment, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, uh, uh, this was because we treated the dog with IV fluids, antibiotics and painkillers for two days. And uh, since this is a young dog, we suspect um, that the bloody urine is most likely due to uh, it's most likely due to cystitis, due to tiny stones and an infection. So it's going home today? It's going home today and I and I have and I'm the palpating the bladder and it is currently one quarter of the size of an orange. It's normal size. It's, yeah. it's, uh, so which is a normal size. It is not as swollen as The dog as drinks a lot today. and eats a drinks a lot, yeah. Yeah. Um the 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 dog currently drinks a lot and if I check the mucous membranes, the gums it's really pink and healthy and the CRT is less than one second which shows right. a very healthy circulation. Yeah, also what else? Mm. And so it goes home on antibiotics? Yeah, and, um, the dog is going to go home on antibiotics and we recommend... Review. Yeah, yeah and yeah, and this dog will be reviewed in four weeks time uh, with a urinalysis. So, how about urethral obstruction? Sorry? Yeah. Um, urethral obstruction is also a, a possibility, but since the catheter was passed freely in the dog, we, it is a young dog. Uh, yeah, and it is a young dog. We ruled it out and decided that cystitis is the more likely reason. How about X-ray? Would it help? Yeah. Um, normally, we we highly recommend using an X-ray to definitely diagnose the presence of stones in the bladder or the urethra. But in this case, the owner declined the X-ray, so we have had to rely on palpation and reviewer. Yeah, and review.